Today I'm going to be doing a cooking video with you guys. I got this new tripod so I'm able to sit my camera up on a damn countertop. I ain't got to hold it and I can move it around and shit. This shit is cool as hell. Okay, sorry if the lighting is bad in here. I'm going to try to get it better. But I know the lighting is kind of crazy up in here. This ain't the best lighting. But we're going to work with what we got. Um, I'm working right now. I travel for work and I'm in a hotel. So, you know, you got to work with what you have. Okay, so I'm making spaghetti today and I'm making um, garlic toast. All right. So I'm making some um, turkey spaghetti. So here's my turkey. And then I've already got um, a lot of my shit already cut up because I tried this before. I tried to do a video before and I was cutting everything up. It was taking fucking forever. So I got shit pre-cut. So I don't really eat a lot of pork, but I do like to eat sausage and shit. Um, so the sausage that I got is a uh, kielbasa sausage and I cut that up. And this shit is good as hell. Kibasa sausage is good as hell. That'd be the sausage they'd be putting in seafood boils and shit. I love this sausage. Okay, so I got that and then I got my onions cut up because I, I like a lot of onions. I love onions. So I got my onions cut up here and then I got my bell pepper. My bell peppers cut up, some red and green bell peppers. Okay, so I'm gonna set this stuff back over here. So today I'm going to be cooking my sausage on the griddle that I got from mom that she think I borrowed, but I actually, it's mine now. Thank you very much. Thank you for the gift, mom. Um, so I got this griddle, which I'm excited about. And that's what I'm gonna be cooking my uh, sausage on. And while I'm talking, I can be getting this olive oil in this pan. So I'm gonna put a little olive oil in this pan here that I got here. Hopefully this camera don't fall cause this thing be kind of falling sometimes. Okay, so I got my pan here. I'm gonna turn on the eye and then I'm gonna put some um, olive oil in my pan. Cause I'm gonna cook my vegetables prior to putting my uh, turkey in here. Cause turkey cook kind of fast, you know? So I put some olive oil in that and I'm gonna let that heat up. I think this is the right eye. Is this the right eye? Oh, oh, I turn on the back eye. Hold up, hold up. All right, so this is the right one. Okay, so I'm going to let that heat up. And then I'm also going to turn on my uh, griddle too because I'm going to cook the sausage on here. Before I um, started to record this video, I did wash my hands. I know y'all didn't see me wash my hands before I start fucking with shit, but I did wash my hands, so, before this video started. All right, so I'm gonna dry this off, and you can kind of hear the skillet already, you know, getting hot and shit, it's already sizzling. So I'm gonna um, smooth this oil around on here this young griddle, you feel me? Then put these sausages on there. Cause I wanna get them a nice, nice brown, you feel me? On them. I like that, I like that. So we gonna do that. But this thing, I cooked on this the other day, man. This shit was popping me like crazy. That's the thing about these griddles though. They be popping the shit out of you. So watch out. Shit. These motherfuckers be popping your ass like crazy. Ooh, I can already smell them. I love this sausage. It is so good. No, so good. Already. Alright, alright. Oh shit, y'all hear it? It's already popping. It didn't pop me already. Okay, so now we got that. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, bell peppers 
and onions to this pan here. Fuck the veggies. Bring the camera up again. Hold up. Bring it up a little bit. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So when I said I wanted a brown, I didn't want them this brown. Shit. Ow. Yeah, they kind of burn a little bit, but you know. It's still gonna work. I just think I ain't gonna cook them that long on the other side. Oh, this one ain't bad. A couple, okay, these pieces. There's a few of them that got burnt. Hold up. Ooh. Man, it's hurt. You get hot. It's gonna be hurting. Ooh, some of them got burnt though. Damn. But it'll be alright. It'll still be good. So you don't want them to get like too burnt. You know, you see how few of them got. But well, it'll be alright though. It'll be alright. One thing that I've I've noticed a lot. Is that some get burnt when I cook? It's something, something out of the mix get burnt every time. That's that bullshit. All right, so back to the the onions and the bell pepper. Mix that up. I want to add a little bit of seasoning to this too. I think I'm gonna put the lid on this too to help it cook a little bit faster. Okay, so the seasonings I have not that much. I don't have that many, but you know, I got the, the main ones. I forgot accent though. That's the one thing that I did forget. I'm mad about that shit too. But I got the slap your mamas. If you don't know nothing about that, you need to get in tune, okay? Slap your mamas, we're gonna add a little bit of that up in there. Add some of that, add some of that in there. Then we're gonna add a little bit of onion powder, even as we, even though I got a lot of onions in this motherfucker, I'm gonna add more onion powder, more onion. You feel me? Then we got that garlic powder. I need to buy some more. I'm almost out of this. Add that up in there too. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna hold off on the black pepper. Well, no, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit in there. The freshly ground black pepper. It's just a total different flavor with the freshly ground black pepper. First versus the pre-ground black pepper. Freshly ground tastes so much better. So I'm gonna mix this up in here. Mix it up. And then I think I'm gonna put the lid on this. And I got this on medium heat. I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit before I add my turkey to it. So. the lid onto that. Alright, we're gonna come back over here to the sausages and turn them a little bit. Ooh, I think I burnt. Oh, okay. They doing good, they good, they good. Okay, so I'm just going to let the I'ma just let the um sausages cook a little bit longer and then let the uh, vegetables cook down some and then I'll come back and show y'all where I'm at. 
because I ain't trying to make this video all that long, you feel me? Okay? Okay, guys, I am back. Back, back, back. As y'all can see in the back, you know, I did fix myself a little drink, you feel me? But this ain't no drinky drink. This is just a drink. It's just raspberry tea with a little lemon on the side to make it look cute, you know? So, drink up, motherfucker. Pinky up. Anyway, so I got the, um, ooh, I hope that don't fall. So we got the uh, bell peppers, the onions. You see they didn't cook down. So this is the time when I'm going to go ahead and add my little turkey. And I just got uh, some ground turkey, 93% lean, 7% fat. And I'm going to go ahead and open this up and put this in there. So while I was gone, I did add the oil. You know how I cook the sausages on this pan here. Um, and you notice the little part to catch the oil and shit at the bottom of this thing. Um, so I took that out, took that out and poured the oil into the veggies, the, um, the onions and the bell peppers. And I let that cook in there with it too. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is like one of my favorite things to eat amongst a lot of stuff. I got a lot of shit that's my favorite shit to eat, but I love spaghetti. I really do. So. I got my pot of water for my spaghetti noodles back here. Starting to get hot. Gonna come to a boil in a minute. And you know, actually, before I come to a boil, I'm gonna just add my uh, a little bit of olive oil in this so that the noodles don't stick together. Just adding a little bit of olive oil to the pot, and then. Um, Once this is get done cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes to this. And this is just diced tomatoes and I've drained as much juice out of it as I can. And then I'm gonna add some um, mushrooms to it too. And I drain the juice off the mushrooms too. Um, and then I think I'm gonna come back to y'all when I do that. Because, um, like I said, I'm trying not to make this so long, okay? But before I let y'all go, I'm going to have a little drink and a little drink. Not a drinky drink, just a drink. You know what I was just thinking about? How allergy season is going to suck so much this year because you're going to be torn between do you have COVID or is it just your allergies fucking with you? Man. But anyway, we back. I'm going to show y'all the damn process, the damn progress, progress, okay? So we got our meat here that's cooked down. And we got our uh, pot back here for the spaghetti boiling now. So I'm going to go ahead and add the spaghetti to the boiling pot. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put the lid back on there. Get that 
Okay, so we're getting back to the damn turkey now. So I'm gonna lift this up because I'm gonna drain some of the uh, juice off of this turkey. Because I don't know if I said it before, but I, yeah, I think I did said about rinsing the juice off of this, taking the juice off the can of mushrooms in the um, tomatoes. But I'm gonna uh, pour this juice off of this and try not to spill it in the damn sink like I always do when I do this. Spill all the food in the sink. Still a lot of juice left. Next time I'll use the lid. See? That's that bullshit. Okay, so to this I'm gonna add the uh, sausages. Then my ass burnt up, but they still gonna be good. Put that in there. Mix them together. I did not want them to get this brown though. Dang, I was trying my hardest for that not to happen. Hopefully I got enough room in this pot too for everything. So then I'm gonna add my um, mushrooms to it. And if you don't like mushrooms, just don't put them in there. I like mushrooms. And then I added a big ass can, 28 ounce can of uh, tomatoes to it. Okay, so I had to do a switcheroo on the pots, but the spaghetti is done now. Hopefully you can see that. The spaghetti's done now. I switched the meat and stuff over to the bigger pot. So I added um, the tomatoes and the mushrooms to it, sausage to the turkey and the um, bell peppers and onions. Now I'm gonna add some old salapio mamas in here and um, some garlic powder. Y'all know, same old shit that I've been using. Onion powder. Add a jar of traditional um, ragu in here. And I usually have two jars. this cook some let this come to a simmer taste it make sure the seasoning tastes good in it then we're gonna be good to go with that. so I'm gonna let that come to a simmer real quick we're gonna let that be so the food is done finally okay so we got the spaghetti here with the cheesy cheese on top of it and then I made some garlic toast here. So I wanted to show y'all what I'm gonna be drinking with my food. So this is a live kombucha sparkling probiotic tea drink. And it's in the flavor of cherry cola. 
Okay, so I don't um I don't drink a lot of pop now, but every now and again I get a taste for a pop and I like to drink these instead of actually drinking pop and it just it tastes like pop and it's good for you, you know, kombuchas are good for your stomach. So, this is really really good and it's good for you. So, I would recommend you try it and this is how it looks. And the only flavor that I don't like is the freaking orange. The oranges, ugh, do not get the orange, but all the other flavors are good. And I had already been drinking on this a little bit. Mmm, it is so good. It's so good. And they say it only got, it's 80% less sugars than soda too. That's quite a bit, 80%. That's quite a bit. But I'm gonna take a little taste of the, the spaghetti for you. Ooh, do you see the cheese? I love me some cheese. So I'm gonna get a, a piece of the um, sausage with it too. The burnt sausage. Mmm, you know what? I'm tripping. Mmm, this is good, but Lord, forgive me. I didn't even pray. P please forgive me. Slipping. So, this tastes good. This tastes good. I'm not even going to lie, though. You can taste a little bit of the burnt on the um, sausage, but it ain't that bad though, it ain't that bad. I wish I wouldn't have let it cook that long, you know, but hey, play as fuck up, you feel me? Mmm, mmm, that's good though. Let me taste a little bit of the bread. Mmm. That's good too. So yeah, I'm just trying to do some new content on my channel. You know, I'm still going to be hitting y'all last with the wig reviews, most definitely. Still going to be doing that. But I just wanted to switch it up a little bit, you know. Um, you know, I, I always say, you know, I'm trying to be more consistent. Every time I do a video, I'm like, y'all, I'm going to try to be more consistent. And I'm going to try to make these videos. And, and I'm just going to stop lying to y'all ass, okay? It's hard. It's hard to make videos and then work. It's just hard to do them both. You know, getting into this, I didn't think that it was going to be all what it is. Like editing and all that stuff. That stuff is really time consuming. And then it's like tedious work to me, you know. It's tedious. So it's just hard when you're trying to juggle work and do this. This really is like another job. You know, I didn't understand it. Mm. Like, my, ooh, almost choke. Hold up, hold up. Make sure you cop you one. They be at Trader Joe's and shit. Mmm, the cherry cola. Excuse me. But it's just hard. It's hard to work and do this. It is, especially editing. Editing be so time consuming and I'm just like, man. And then I still am trying to work on editing, learning how to edit. So that makes it a little frustrating too. So, you know, I'm gonna try to get out as many, try to get out videos when I can, you know. But, excuse me, I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, I'm not gonna be consistent like that, you know. I'm going to try my best, but I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to be all that cons it, um, consistent on YouTube, you know. Um, but I do want you to follow me on my other social medias, and I'll put that at the in the um, description box, um, especially S Snapchat, because I'm on Snapchat a little bit more often than all the other social medias. But go ahead and add me on Instagram, too. But Snapchat, most definitely add me on Snapchat. But yeah, it's good. It really is.
Well, I'm gonna finish eating. I'm gonna let y'all go. You don't forget to cop you one. Cop you one, especially the cream soda. If you like cream soda, the cream soda one is really good. That's my favorite one. I actually got it in the um, refrigerator now. But don't get the orange though. But I got the cream soda one too. Good. Bye, holla at y'all.